Welcome back to the shop here at Basin Motorsports of Canaan. Today we're going to do a little experiment to see if we can make a silver or a metallic carbon fiber cloth. So the experiment is going to involve taking some colored hybrid cloth from Venom Carbon and we're going to mix it with some silver and a metallic aluminum spray paint from Rust-Oleum to see what happens. Can we make a hybrid colorized metallic carbon cloth. So here's what we're going to do for our ingredients for this experiment. I have our four color hybrid cloths from Venom Carbon. I also have a small pile of half inch chopped. Now we're going to add this to our epoxy and hardener in a two to one ratio like normal. And I'm going to try this with two different metallic features. So on the right hand side, this spray paint is a Rust-Oleum. It is an aluminum metallic. I'll show you the label here so you can kind of see it. It's an aluminum metallic for wood, metal, plastic, and more like carbon fiber. Second time we're gonna do this, or the second piece, is going to be our Rust-Oleum metallic. This is a silver bright shiny finish that gives you kind of a chrome-ish look to it. So I've got four by four of each four inch by four inch pieces here. I've sprayed them lightly, what I consider lightly to it. You can kind of see them got a little bit of shine. And I've also done the same with our chopped carbon here. I'm going to put these in with resin and hardener. I'm going to do like I did before where I made the coasters. This is going to go in our four inch coaster molds. It takes about two and a half ounces of resin and hardener mix. And then we will let these sit for 24 hours to see how they come out. See what it looks like. So here we go. Okay, here are gonna be our samples for our metallic silver. This is more of our chrome spray paint. Here's our four inch samples. We got a red, an orange, a purple, and a blue. These are all from Venom Carbon in their hybrid series. And they have a little bit of metallic spray paint. So if I show you a red without the paint, you can see a difference. You can see kind of how it has a silverish color to it. On the right hand side, we'll let these cure out. And then I've made two of the four inch round samples. The one on the left has approximately 10 to 15% of the metallic spray paint. The one on the right has 50% is my goal. So we'll see how different these are once they cure out to see if maybe I can make something different. Now I can also flip it the other way on the next round to see if you do, uh, let's say a 50 or a 10 and maybe try to make it like a 90 or 75 of the higher of the silver. We'll see what happens. All right, so the first round of our trial here with the silver metallic, here's what's gonna be our finished product. You can see the four colors. The purple, I think came out pretty well. You can definitely see it's got a silver metallic, but you can still see some purple to it. There's our red, I think same thing. The orange, you can see a difference. So if you look in this upper corner, at least in the uh, reality here, you can see it's got a little bit more of a silver to it than the center or down in this area. And then the blue, I just don't think I covered enough. It's there, but really uh, it's not very good comparison compared to the other colors. Now these two here, this is my 10% trial. This is my 50% trial. I really don't, uh, I don't see a whole lot difference between them. I think the chop just gonna be a little bit different a little bit more difficult, I would say, to um, get a good mix ratio. One, it's hard to get the chop to really sit down in there. It's not as easy as trying to put it on some fabric, which is one layer just sits down in there and you kind of push on it. This stuff's a little bit harder to condense down in there. If you were doing it on, like you're skinning a part or something else, I think you would be better off to do all your chop first, kind of stick it on there, then spray it, let it dry, or let the paint dry or use a heat gun like I did and then uh, put resin over it. I think you'd be better off. It'd be a little bit more consistent. Yeah, it's beautiful, but same point. Really doesn't showcase kind of what my intent was. Okay, now we're going to do the aluminum metallic in the same process. All right, so now we're going to move on to our second trial. Now this is going to be a Rust-Oleum. Let me just show you. It is an aluminum metallic, so it's a little bit more silver, I guess you would say, more of a silver spray paint. But I did my best to do a better coating all the way across. Even the orange still 
not perfect, a little bit, a little bit bulky. So you can kind of see it there. I've also done a little bit more better coating on the chopped, the half inch chopped. And again, we're going to go ahead and mix this in with the venom carbon. This is going to be our hardener and of course our epoxy resin here. So two to one ratio there. This is now dried. Throw these in the molds. We'll see what we come up with. All right, so here's going to be our finished with our aluminum metallic spray paint. So that's what I'm using. Rust-Oleum aluminum metallic. And there's going to be our red, purple, blue, and orange. Now you can see a little bit of tint there. You can see it there. And of course, these are the ones I just showed you. So the 10% mix is on top. The 50% mix is on the bottom. And really, I think it's just going to come down to when you're doing the chopped carbon, you really probably are going to have to adhere it to something and then spray it. I think just um, just mixing it in there, it just kind of tumbles back and forth and you don't get a really good mix. So I think that's going to be the way to go. But is it possible to do this? Absolutely. Now, let me show you what they look like side by side. Okay, so here are, is the side by side looking at the silver. This will be always be on the left and the aluminum metallic, they'll always be on the right. So there's your two colors, both from Rust-Oleum. There's your red, there's your purple, there's your orange, and your blue, and then your chopped, 10% and 50%. The one thing I notice here is the aluminum has a little bit more silver to it. The shiny, or the silver, it's going to be a little darker. There you go. Can it be done? The answer is absolutely. It's going to be up to you to decide how much tint you want. If you want a darker silver or a lighter silver, but there's your answer. So that's it for this experimentation using the Venom Carbon cloth and chopped carbon and adding in some metallic spray paint. Can it be done? Absolutely. Now, if you guys have any more questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any other experiments you want to see with some of this colored carbon fiber from Venom Carbon, also leave them down below. Otherwise, check out VenomCarbon.com. We'll see you next time.